One of the biggest challenges any cinematographer or colorist will face is lighting a night scene. And because of camera's low light capabilities, oftentimes filmmakers find themselves with noisy footage that looks unprofessional. So today I'm going to teach you guys one of my favorite techniques in post-production, which is called color grading day for night. And we're going to do it in less than five minutes. Let's go. All right guys, here we are in DaVinci Resolve and this specific technique that I'm going to use today requires you actually to make a change in camera before you start shooting. But to demonstrate that today, we are going to be using raw clips and adjusting it in post. But let's actually get the basis of this day for night technique down and then we will make that final change so you can see how this one thing changes your look. So we're going to go ahead and get into Rec. 709 and grade this log footage. Now this is shot in C log 2, so I'm going to use my color space transform method to convert into Airy log C and then into Rec. 709 and we're going to grade the day for night look in node 2 right here. So go ahead and add one color space transform to node 1 and then one to node 3. What you're going to put in here is what you shot in. So I shot in the Canon Cinema Gamut and it was shot in C log 2. And we can see that that's represented right here. I could also change this in RAW if I wanted to, but we're going to leave it as is. You do not have to be in RAW for this to work. We're going to change our output to Canon Cinema Gamut into Airy Log C. From there, we're going to go from the same thing that we output it to, so Canon Cinema to Airy Log C, into Rec. 709 for the output color space, and Rec. 709 in the output gamut and then we are going to tick luminance mapping. So right now, this is what our scene looks like graded for log. What we're going to do now is we're basically going to crush our exposure. And to do this, I am going to use the primary wheels. You can use the log wheels if you want to for a little bit more control, but just to keep this simple, let's stick with the primary wheels. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my highlights. So we have that right there. So right here, we're at about 50 IRE. And I'm going to bring down those shadows to right about there. Might bump up the midtones just a bit. I'm gonna crush them just a little bit right there. Before and after. Now you might be saying to yourself, Sydney, this does not look like a night scene. Well, that's because we have this calibrated for a daylight color temperature. So before you start shooting, you're going to want to change to a manual Calvin temperature and make it cooler. Now, my temperature is at 3920. I can go ahead and bring this down just a little bit more. And this represents a more accurate day for night look. You can get a little bit more complicated and use the curves if you want to. I'm just going to bring down these shadows just a little bit more because I know I can. And I'm still maintaining that detail. You see, day for night allows us to maintain that detail. And only a few areas are falling into black. And then if you want to, just to maintain your skin tones, you can always go in, qualify an area, then make a power window because things are all gonna be pretty blue. So we're gonna make a power window just around my face right here and my arm to isolate only that. And then I'm just gonna slightly adjust just a little bit to maintain some of that warmth. It's just that subtle change. You can see the before and after. And that is the dirty and simple day for night technique. So when we come over to our next clip again, this is shot in 5600 and the lightning actually just has a blue light attached to it. You'll see the lightning happen somewhere right there. I have a blue filter on the light to give it a cooler tone. But again, if you want to apply that grade, just click apply grade from one clip prior. We're gonna come into node two and we're just gonna get a little bit more drastic. So you can see we're not letting many things fall into black here that are really going to be a problem. So you bring that down. We can bring the mid-tones down a bit, add even a little bit of highlight contrast, but this is not a bad look for a nighttime scene. And I'm going to get rid of this right here. So we've gone from this to this. And again, if we didn't correct our color temperature, this is what it would look like. Now, this could be a nighttime scene in a warm interior, but to get that moonlight look, we make it cooler. And that is how you approach day for night in DaVinci Resolve.
The day for night technique is a simple way to maximize the detail you'll get in your night scene without pushing your camera's low light capabilities. This tutorial was quick, but if you guys would like more in-depth knowledge on color grading, be sure to check out my DaVinci Resolve color grading course. A link is in the description down below. When you guys enroll in this course, you get me as a mentor because this course is specifically designed to make you ask questions. I want you to think back to your best teacher that you've ever had. Did they give you all the answers? No, they taught you by example. And all of our examples in our shooting styles are going to be different. So be sure to check out the link in the description down below, as well as follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. If you guys are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.